Have you ever swiped on a lipstick or applied a metallic eyeshadow, only to end up with a swollen pout or itchy eyes? A makeup allergy could be the cause. Sometimes it's hard to pinpoint at first, but once you've identified the ingredient causing the trouble, with the help of an allergist, there are plenty of makeup lines you can swap into your daily routine. Here are a few things to look for if you think you might have a makeup allergy. The first sign that you may be allergic to a cosmetic product is an unusual rash. Allergist and immunologist Pavi Parik, MD who works with the Allergy Asthma Network and NIU School of Medicine, explains that allergic contact dermatitis, which is the medical term for a reaction that comes from contact with an allergen, actually looks a lot like eczema. It appears as a red, itchy, dry, or flaky rash around the area where you applied the makeup. In extreme cases, an allergic reaction can even cause blistering or swelling. This type of allergic reaction is very similar to poison ivy, says Barrick. It can present as a weeping, blistering rash on many different skin tones. When it comes to cosmetic reactions, some of the most common culprits are metals like nickel and cobalt, which are found in some eyeshadows, antiperspirants, and hair dyes. Preservatives like probins and methylisothiazolinone are high on the allergen list, too. And it might not show up right away. You could use a product for years before suddenly developing an allergic reaction. Somebody that has a history of eczema or that has asthma or seasonal allergies tends to break out in rashes a little more quickly or seriously, says dermatologist Melanie Palm, MD in most cases. The immune system has become hypersensitive to the chemicals over time. If you're allergic to a new product you just started using, it may take a couple days or even weeks for the rash to appear. For makeup allergies, the reaction often shows up over 24 hours later. So the glitter eyeshadow you used on Saturday night could be the source of the Monday morning itch. In the first exposure it takes a couple weeks to mount, says Palm. If it's the second time, the reaction could happen almost immediately or in the first several days. And if the rash goes away once you stop using the product, that's another sign it was the cause. But you still need to find out exactly which ingredient set off your allergy. Parak says the biggest mistake people make is assuming the reaction is the result of an expired product. So they buy the same product again. Or, they think the rash is the result of an infection and use Neosporin, but still use the cosmetic that's causing the breakout. The first step to managing the rash is to stop using the product that you think is the cause. You can use a hydrocortisone cream to stop any itching and moisturize the rash with a thick balm like aquifer. She also tells her patients to suspend exercise and alcohol use until the rash is healed. Thank you.